So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy L, and I'm back with another reaction. Now listen, man, the next interview we checking out, shout outs to Soft White Underbelly, is uh, a shooting victim interview. Guy goes by the name of Jerry. They didn't give his full name, it just states Jerry in the title, right? This guy survives. Now, we've all heard stories of people surviving gunshot wounds. The most famous you can probably remember is Tupac. Shot in the head, survived, lived to tell about it before he was ultimately killed, right? This guy here is waiting on the bus to go home at a bus stop, waiting on a bus to go home and, and takes a shotgun blast to the face and survives and lives to tell about it. So I'm interested to hear this interview, man. Um, like I said, shout outs to Soft White Underbelly, bro. They be having some great interviews and I expect this one to be no different. All right, so if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and uh, check this out. Hey, Jerry. Hey, how you doing? You remember me? I can't see your face, you see. I can't get closer. Can you see me? You never really see this like that about design? I know. Okay, no, I, I photographed you. you. Oh, you photographed me? You remember, remember I photographed you a while back? Wait a minute, is you the one with the, is that your car? Yeah. Is that, took me to? I took you to Culver City. I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> I was really like, like, like you. <laughs> I ain't seen you how you been? How you good, how you been, man? Okay, now, right when I say that your car, in Culver City, studio. Yeah. And you did some wrestlers. That's right. Now I got you. Yeah, you I have the prints on the wall. How did the photo come off? Come on. That, that photo turned out great. Uh, next That's time it. I see you, um, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, I can't even see it, but I'm glad you're trying to Tell me your story. I, 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 you and I have, uh, we've talked several times now, but I don't really know exactly the full details of what happened to you five years ago. Okay. I was sitting at a bus stop going home from work one night. Coming home from work. Uh -huh. A couple months later, I woke up in the hospital. I thought I was dreaming. A doctor told me that I was sat in the side of the head with a shotgun. Bro, could you even imagine that? He can't even recall. He's standing at the bus stop. After that, he wakes up. He can't tell you nothing in between. Nothing in between he can recall. The doctor had to tell him what happened to him. So can you imagine waking up in a hospital and then you go and they have to explain to you before they let you see what you look like? And this dude sounds like he's upbeat now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's gotten past it a little bit because you can never really get over it. But he sounds like he's upbeat. Imagine what all he's been through. He was shot in the side of the head with a shotgun. Said, he said, the only reason I survived because it was point blank range. He said, it was not point blank range, range when he was been out of the streets. And you'd be dead. I'd be dead, yeah. And see, I, I can't see that guy out of his left eye. My nose, I cannot smell or breathe at all. Right. And the, the skin here came off my leg. Did you have a skin graft from your leg? From my leg, and put up here. Put up right here. Yeah. yeah I, I, I screwed my head. I, I don't know if you can see this spot here. Yeah. Let's see. This is the spot right, this right here, something right here. This spot right here. And yeah. then right up in here. Right. It's this. They put a skull, a skull, my skull back together, something like that, man. Let me touch it. Touch, go ahead. It's like, yeah, it feels like, totally natural. And it, I'm talking right in here. It did something, man. The, the, see, there's a spot right there, this spot right here. Yeah. I don't know if they say they put screws or something in there. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure, I wouldn't doubt you've got screws in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've you probably, uh, probably got more than a few. My front brain is gone. They yeah. took my front brain down. Okay, one doctor told me, he said, man, he got to me. He said, your brain is hanging out your out to head like a snotty little kid. Man, man, I know it don't mean anything coming from me, but prayers for this dude, bro. They said his brain was hanging out. Brains was hanging out. They had to do skin grabs, sew a skull back, like do something for his skull, take the skin off his knee to place on his head. Like, that's why I keep reiterating the fact that he sounds upbeat because... Most people couldn't come back from that mentally after having to do that. You're talking to a person that's been in rehab before 
That's the, that's a long road. And I didn't have to go through nearly what he went through. You know what I'm saying? And I know my road to recovery was strenuous. You know what I mean? Mentally, t like, it took a mental toll on you. Like, so to hear, like, this is, this is a miracle story. Did you break his what? Hanging out my face. Hanging out of your face. Before the place, yeah. He told me, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it said, let's remove it. And they removed it? Yeah, it's my brain before brain. See, your back brain is your main brain. That's the back brain? Yeah. That's what you think with, move with, do all this with. Yeah. If, now, this is my back brain. If I was surprised, I might be in a wheelchair. I uh, pray you know, you know some guy in the wheelchair and use the tongue to. Yeah, but you can walk and talk. But yeah, and everything like that. Before you've been shot, uh, your life, you, you were going to work, you had, you had, yeah. you had a nice apartment somewhere, I assume? Yeah, I think it's probably like, yeah, hotel probably like, you know. I had to be able to see this. I had to make airplane parts at a machine shop. Airplane parts at a machine yeah, shop? Yeah, yeah. Well, Dutchess. And uh, this happened. So I tell you where I've been, but I can't tell you where I'm going. You're familiar with that, right? Yeah. God is good, though, man. Oh, dangerous, man. So, you, man. So you're still in a dangerous neighborhood? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good, row. You're homeless? Yeah. Uh -huh. Where are you sleeping? Uh, at the, I sometimes see at the federal court building on here on the first street. Just like in the, in the corner of the building? Yeah, yeah, the corner of the... Uh, the uh, but basically on the street. Well, basically on the street, but see, they can't... You can't see me from the sidewalk. And then the security, they got security at night time, it's okay, but I got, I got to get out of here at 6 o'clock in the morning, though. Yeah, so you got a good spot. Yeah, I got a good spot. Down here, no way. No, so, no. Are, I mean, do, are, do you, are you comfortable in your own home? Are you frustrated or bitter or angry about what happened to you? I can't help it, so I accept it. You were always this way, or you've come to accept that? I've always been this way, you know, you get like, 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 up months later and you... So my question is, is where's the assistance? I see people with, with less have more assistance than this, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen people that have been through less than what this guy's been through, receive all type of government assistance, help, I've seen people who don't need government assistance receive government. Why isn't he a candidate and a qualifier? He should not be living. Like, come on, man. And this is why I have no faith in the system. Like, it's, it's screwed up. It's screwed up. Bro, this dude has been through the worst of the worst. You know what I'm saying? You heard him tell you. I can't. I can tell you where I've been. I can't tell you where I'm going. Then he turned around and said, "God is good." Like upbeat, bro. About life. He should be the prime example of assistance. Someone who should receive housing should receive a place to stay some type of food program assistance, all of that type of stuff. If he's not a qualifier, then who is? You realize you're missing the, the right side of your face and brain. And then I say, oh, forget it. I'm gonna say something else. I haven't looked at myself in about two years. I looked at the mirror to see what I can see myself in the over two years. Yeah. How's your vision? Can you, can you see? It's not, I, I, can, I can kind of see this right here. And I don't look at myself over two years. And it was like, I've been about it. I said, man, well, things happen. I just got to accept that, you know? And keep moving on. Your attitude is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I agree, bro. That's why I keep stating the same thing. That's too, man. I can't change it. I can't stop living now. So, you know, whenever I hear somebody complaining about their <laughs> yeah. tough life, I think about you. Yeah, I can't, I can't stop living. I got to live on. <laughs> Definitely. God is good. And people help you out on the street? Sometimes, yeah. People like you come around and help me out a little bit, yeah. I'm sure you some, you know, people who are scared. And yeah, some, 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 now some here, some ain't. Some kids like me. They come and talk to me and everything. And some will cry. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. And, but some will walk up to me, all right. And talk to me. <laughs> That's That's nice. I say, okay, how you doing? Okay. Bye. Say, Bye. Some scared, some not. Yeah. Some people, some grown people scared, some not, you know. Vice versa. So they ever caught the guy that shot you? 
I don't think I don't know. I don't know who did myself. I don't know who it was. They don't. I don't know. Did you see him coming? Or just no, no. I can't remember. Last time I remember, I was sitting at the bus stop. And when? Oh, you didn't remember it happened. I knew it never happened. That's last time I was sitting at the bus stop. I know I know which bus stop sit there. And that was it. Wow. That was out of had. They said and they said I had 23 hours surgery. 23 hours surgery. That was it. I had 23 I hours surgery. 23 hours surgery. Yeah. You saved Yeah. They said, uh, they said, General Hospital, man, they were one of the top hospitals in the nation as far as head trauma. I'm sorry, say it again? They said, General Hospital, right here, USC Medical Center? USC Medical Center. They said they were one of the top three hospitals in the nation as far as head trauma. Oh, is that right? They would have said, yeah. For head trauma. For head trauma. Especially head trauma, yeah. You went to the right place? Yeah. One guy said, you see me. He said, man, I read about you. He said, they got you in the medical, medical history book for surviving what happened to you. Yeah. He said, me and this other lady. You ever heard about that lady that they surpassed and ripped her face off or something like that? Yeah, monkey tore her. Yeah. He said, me and her in the medical, medical mystery history book. <laughs> yeah, because they can believe we survived what happened to us. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. So it's kind of derails your life a bit. So it's like, I feel about this dude the same way I feel like, and I'm trying to hold back like emotions, bro, because I feel bad. Like he shouldn't have to be, you know what I'm saying, going through what he going through now after going through what he went through. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that about veterans, different people like that, bro. He's in that category for me, man. You know, he's in a book somewhere and they're glorifying the fact that they were able to perform this 23 hour surgery but yet he's still out here on the street. So excuse me if I don't get, I don't care too, I don't care nothing about your 23 hour surgery that you can glorify in a magazine when this dude is still sitting out here on the road trying to find somewhere to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Since a while ago, since I get situated, and I, I get together and I, I was gonna live home. Things happen, you know. Things happen. They happen to you. And things happen unexpectedly. So, I'll be able to take this later and turn it to something positive. Yeah. What words of advice would you give people? Keep your trusty God. That's what we about that God. Keep your trusty God. And the words the God we trust. Keep your trusty God. He's the way to light the truth. And the only, only way, that's it. If anybody could sell me on that, man, you could. Yeah, just keep your life, man. Hey, they like said, but it's nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. What's no, I'm sorry, say it again. It's nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. That's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. See what's happening today? Happen. BC. You know what BC means? Yeah. Before the birth of Christ. Yeah. Have, this been happening all since back then. What's going on today? Same thing way back in the days. Same thing. The word says nothing new under the sun. They said, uh, uh, it would be, he said, weeks, me, uh, years will go by like months. Months will go by like weeks. And weeks will go by like days. And you would not know your summer or your winter or spring or fall time. You wouldn't know which one to do which. That's all in the Bible, man. That's all in the Bible. And what do you look forward to down the road for you? Uh, happiness. <laughs> yeah, happiness. I mean, do you wake up happy? You seem to be. Yeah, happy. yeah, I do. I have to. You have to. You have to. Have to. Yeah, I keep strong. Every and, time I, I've seen you multiple times now, and every time I see you, you seem in a great, great mood. Yeah, I got to be in a great mood. I can't let, I can't let this bring me down. Does it, I, ever, I, does, does yeah. it ever get you down? Or are no, there no. days where you wake up and you're like, God damn. No, 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 no. See? No. I have all excuses in the world. You know what I'm saying? I have all excuses in the world to see it to be down and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it. But I don't. I don't use this as, you know what I'm saying? I don't use that as that. No way. I'm just blessed to be alive, man. That's the thing. That's what made me so happy. Yeah. I could have been dead, man. Yeah. I could have been, de been dead. <laughs> it's not dead, I feel like I said. Are you getting worse? Like, alive? It's alive, but in, in a. And you know, I see people in the wheelchair use their tongue and get around and stuff like that. 
Can they be able to see myself or anything like that? A barely a vegetable or something. I never been that way. But God gave me spare my life. That's which is great. Jerry, you're beautiful and amazing. Yeah, this is great, man. God is good, man. Bro, I know people that have way more than that guy and have don't even have near the the um just just his his mo his his will his motivation his his willingness to 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 be positive you know what i'm saying like i know people that that are just tough to be around because all they do is complain 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 to the point where i can't be around you i can't be around the person that complains all the time they like you bring my energy down this guy's energy is so upbeat, so uplifting, like so positive. Like he's the poster child of how you need to handle things in life. We could all learn something. Take a page out of his book and learn something, bro. Man, man, seriously, man. Y'all come across that dude, man. Like, buy him, buy him lunch, see if you can buy him a hotel room for the night. You know what I mean? Nothing that'll put you out of the way, but if you can, man, if you know where he is, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm, I'm just disappointed in the system, bro. They should at least be doing something for him. Y'all get at me in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think. Till the next reaction, man. I'm out. Peace, y'all. Stay solid. Hey.